times this week have you said, I don't have time for that? It's really an all too common phrase that I hear. And every time I hear it, I do take time to stop the person mid conversation. I always want to correct them. Everyone from you to Mother Teresa to Albert Einstein had 1440 minutes in their day. Everyone just makes different choices on what to do with them. When people tell me I don't have time for that, I tell them, well, you have the time, you're just choosing to do something else with it. You may be thinking, hey, Todd, you know, I, I don't know if I have time to spend on meditating and exercising and eating right. And that's really a legitimate concern. You know, if you think about adding these things to your task list, then it's going to seem that way. And Scott and I are not asking you to add things to your already busy plate. We're actually asking you to replace old habits that aren't making you any better. Then you don't have to add new stuff. Let's be honest, you know, we're great at making excuses for ourselves, it's just human nature. I should go to the gym tomorrow morning, but the big game is on tonight and I can't get to bed early enough. Uh, I should pack a healthy lunch, but you know, it's easier to get a slice of pizza across the street from the office. Uh, I should make this last phone call, but you know, I worked really hard today, so I can knock off early and get out of here. You know, we've all been there. Something you will hear Scott and I say a lot is that it's usually easy to do the right thing, but it's even easier not to do it. So the first step in finding more time in your day is really to get better at eliminating things that are not getting you there. What I want you to focus on today is noticing what you spend your time on and deciding what you can do to eliminate it in order to get the time that you need to focus on better activities. I really challenge you to write down the activity or activities that you can eliminate from your day you know, just to make 10 more minutes of room and spend more time on a productive activity. If you're struggling, go ahead and write down how much time you spend looking at Facebook or watching the news or watching something on Netflix. Are any of those things really getting you closer to where you want to be? I don't think so. Am I telling you to eliminate them completely? No, I'm not. I'm just saying that you know, spending 10 minutes less there and using that time for you know, a better daily habit is good. Uh, you know, I, I think you should do it. Once you get 10 minutes, I encourage you to dive deeper. Maybe you can find whole hours in your day that you can use to, to make yourself better. So today, pick one thing that you can do without in order to get one of your daily disciplines back on track. I promise you, you know, it's going to be worth the time. So I'm going to leave you with this quote to help you think more about how to use your time. The quote is, time equals life. Therefore, waste your time and waste your life. Or master your time and master your life. And that's from Alan Lakin. Thanks again for watching our videos, guys. Uh, if uh, you, you know, got some benefit from this and you know someone else that would too, I encourage you to pass it along to them. Good luck finding some more time in your day by replacing a bad habit with a good one. I'll see you soon.